Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we want to discuss the question how to make money with NFTs. Now you probably know what an NFT is by now. It's a non-fungible token, basically a piece of digital artwork as you can see here. And these digital arts you can sell online on places like rarible.com. And I will come to rarible as well as OpenSea in a second from now. For now, let's quickly look at the top sellers in a day and see how much money they make just within one single day. So you see, okay, this is probably a Russian dude, I assume, because the letters are in Russian. So you can see he sold artwork worth five Ethereum in a single day. If you think of it, I don't know what the course will be as soon as I upload the video. Recently, there has been the dip. But if, if you think about, okay, a price of $3,000 per Ethereum coin, um, this is $15,000 in a single day that this guy here sold. And obviously we shouldn't expect these returns when we just start off selling NFTs. But um, I just wanted to share with you that there's so much potential upwards and there are so many people that sell, yeah, even over one Ethereum, which is $3,000 in a single day. Guys, this is crazy just through digital artwork, yeah? And this is obviously just on Rarible. So right now I want to share with you a concept that I like to think of as digital real estate. As such, it has nothing to do with digital artwork. It's just a concept that I think applies to this very much as well. So digital real estate is something that I see as an occupying as much real estate in the internet, meaning on marketplaces or websites as possible. You can see this with concepts like Amazon Merge, Amazon KDP as well, where you upload lots of lots of lots of designs or as many as you can, or every print on demand shop has the same idea. Yeah, you upload as many designs as you can think, as you can create, and then you hope that some people find these and also you hope that maybe one of your 1000 designs blows up and makes actually a lot of sales. Now I find this concept applies very much to NFTs as well. My approach would be to create as many NFTs as I can create and share them not only on Rarible but also on OpenSea. I have made a video about OpenSea and its advantages. Basically the big advantage with OpenSea which is also an online marketplace for NFTs is that you only pay this one-time account activation fee which is quite high at about $200 but still then you can upload as many NFTs as you want. So this is really compatible with our approach of taking as much real estate in the internet world as possible. So I have a little video that walks you through the process how to create an NFT and how to upload it, how to mint it and then how to yeah put it public. So the links for this are in the description. But I just wanted to share with you this concept of online real estate because with OpenSea you then get the possibility with a one-time account activation fee to upload let's say 2000 NFTs and obviously if you have 2000 artworks online your chances of making a sale are going to be 2000 times higher in the end than if you just upload a single piece of art on OpenSea or on Rarible. So I would recommend you if you are serious about NFTs to obviously yes pay attention to the quality of the NFT otherwise the whole concept um, loses its meaning but if you also want to make a lot of sales then yeah put up a lot of artwork for sale. If you look at some of the top sellers let's take this one they will not just have one NFT for sale you see this one here Okay, this guy here has 622 collectibles, created 432. That's more than one. This guy here, whoever it may be, is occupying a lot of online real estate. And this is why he is also so successful. Like he doesn't just have one NFT online, he has lots of them online. Now to the question, how do you actually earn money with NFTs? So as I said, an NFT is basically a digital piece of art. It can be a video, a GIF, just a picture. It can be anything. And most of the time it indeed comes with some real life extras, especially for the more expensive stuff so you no longer just have a piece of art but you actually I don't know get like a thank you letter or something like this 
um, by post as well. Yeah, so it's not only real art nowadays, it's actually getting more into, yeah, also say, posting like a thank you card or stuff, at least for the more expensive stuff. So if you created a video, a picture or some online digital artwork, you can just go to one of the marketplaces and create an account. As I said, I made a video on how to do this. Um, and then you upload your piece of art to this marketplace. You can put it for sale then in one of the marketplaces. The payment is always in Ethereum, which is a cryptocurrency. If you have never bought cryptocurrency before, lucky for you, guess what? I also have made videos about this, how to buy Ethereum. I also put the link into the description. And then you basically connect your cryptocurrency wallet to your marketplace. And then as soon as somebody purchases your NFT, you will receive the money in Ethereum. So for example, this one here is now um, 10 Ethereum, which is a lot of money. That's like $30,000. Um, but imagine me going to buy this horse digital NFT right now. Um, then I would transfer the Ethereum from there to the owner basically. And then the owner will wake up happy tomorrow with 10 Ethereum in his wallet. Um, and in exchange, I receive the NFT and I can keep selling it um, or I can yeah, just have it for myself. The cool thing, by the way, about NFTs, I don't know how it works exactly on OpenSea, but I know for sure on Rarible is that you can set like a royalty percentage. So if you sell an NFT and the royalty percentage is on 5%, even if the buyer sells your NFT, like the NFT that you originally created, even if he sells it then, then you will still get a 5% royalty for the price that he sells it for. So ideally, you create this passive income, even if you no longer own the NFT, even if you have nothing to do with your NFT, as long as it keeps making sales, you will also get money for this. So this is really cool about this, because obviously you don't have this anywhere else, this concept. So this is my approach to making money with NFTs. Basically, you create some digital artwork, um, especially the stuff that you have already created. I don't know, maybe you are a digital artist, maybe you make videos for a living you can sell anything yeah the nba is selling basketball moments the best basketball moments as digital nfts i for example i'm a performer i'm a juggler in the end a circus artist and i sell guinness world records as nfts and with this i offer um, to send yeah, an original Guinness World Record certificate for this world record that is then purchased with the NFT as well. So I have the possibility because I'm a circus artist to for example break world records and then I put the video of this Guinness World Record up for sale as an NFT and whoever buys it also receives an original Guinness World Records certificate. Yeah, so by the way, guys, if you are interested in buying some Guinness World Records as NFTs, then make sure to check out the links in the description box. As always, when you try to sell something online, an important factor is not only the quality, but also the quantity. Yeah, occupy as much real estate in the internet world as possible, and then your chances of making sales with an NFT will increase. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something in this video. If you did, smash the like button. If you want to know more about NFTs, then check out the other videos that are made about NFTs on my YouTube channel. Join my little YouTube channel community. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.